What's up guys, I'm Dom and welcome back to the channel man. Today I want to talk about should the NBA bring back Isaiah Thomas. So before we get into the video, I want you to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime if you're new. So let's get into it. So I'm pretty sure we all know who Isaiah Thomas is. If you don't know, I'll give you a little basic rundown. He was the 60th overall pick in the 2011 NBA draft for the Sacramento Kings. He's played for the Kings, the Suns, the Boston Celtics, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and a slew of other teams I can't think of off the top of my head. But specifically, I want to talk about his time in Boston, specifically his last year in Boston, which was his best season ever, where he averaged 28 points per game, was a top MVP candidate, and led the Boston Celtics to the Eastern Conference Finals against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. However, they lost that, but something that no NBA fan saw coming was... The fact that Isaiah Thomas got injured and he got injured bad it was actually his hip and the fact that the Boston Celtics training staff or medical team didn't handle the injury seriously was really what derailed Isaiah Thomas's career because many people know in that offseason actually Isaiah Thomas was infamously traded from the Boston Celtics to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Kyrie Irving and after that we saw Isaiah Thomas's productivity decline due to the fact that he was injured and it wasn't taken care of seriously. He went from a 28 point per game score to a 15 point per game score on the Cleveland Cavaliers. And you will probably think, well, he's on LeBron's team, but somebody nearly averaging 30 points shouldn't drop off by 13 points a game. It's kind of crazy to think that this guy, Isaiah Thomas, was a top MVP candidate top MVP candidate and then one less than a year later he's on another team and he's not even the first option he's a second option and he's barely putting up the numbers that he used to and he's not moving the way he used to it was crazy to see that and then after that he was just jumping around the league he would be playing for the Lakers and he would be playing for a slew of other teams and over the years you could see his production his points per game steadily drop and drop and drop and he would get less and less playing time and it just looked like he wasn't fully recovered from his injury then fast forward more recently to about 2020 2021 ish he would play for the g league team of the denver nuggets and he would go crazy he would put up i think 42 points a game on that g league team he would be he was going crazy and then he was signed to a 10-day contract by the Los Angeles Lakers. He doesn't get that many minutes due to the fact that he's just one of those guys they were just going to bring in to fill in space on the roster. But he does okay. And then while it was only a 10-day contract, he does do good. And it is a 10-day contract and they do let him go. They don't renew him for a contract for the remainder of the season. Then he goes and plays for the Dallas Mavericks. Another 10-day contract. He plays all right. Doesn't get another contract with them. And then he signs another 10 day contract for the Charlotte Hornets. Again, doesn't only gets a 10 day contract, doesn't get a full rest of the season contract. And actually I remember in his last game on the 10 day contract, he actually put up 14 points, which was pretty good. You know, um, that's a lot of productivity by Isaiah Thomas, but uh, unfortunately he did not, was not able to stay on the team. And after that 2021, 2022 season, I think, he hasn't been on a roster since that season so we're going into the 23-24 season and recently it's come out that Isaiah Thomas wants to come back to the NBA I mean he's gotten offers from foreign leagues and all that but this guy wants to play in the NBA and I respect his tenacity and his adamancy I don't know if that's a word to come back to the NBA to show them that he still has something he is 34 years old right now and people who are 34 usually start to look for retirement options you know and i really do want to see isaiah thomas back in the league because he was not only an inspiration to young people to the people who were under six foot like myself um that you can dominate in the nba but i mean just how hard he played and that he had something to prove every single night and the fact that he was the last pick in the NBA draft and exceeded all expectations was just a big inspiration, not to my, only to myself, but I'm pretty sure millions and millions of other people around the world, man. And it just sucked to see his production steadily decline and to see him perform well in the G League, 
It was like, okay, he still got some more in the gas tank, but it's like, man, 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 he's not the same player he used to be. Yeah, you can do that in the G League, but the G League's not the NBA. And one thing NBA teams are looking at right now, that since Isaiah Thomas wants is doing workouts with these teams and whatnot, he's not the same guy he was in Boston. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. I'm pretty sure he knows that. I hope he does. And that's just something that sets what he does now apart from what he did before is that yeah you're not going to be the 20 point per game scorer you were before but you know you can give us a cool eight points per game you know shoot the corner three or play some solid defense but i mean other than that i mean you're not running the offense you're not going to be the guy coming out starting lineup and all that so i don't see him get, ever getting that type of role ever again um, but I know he has the ability to be a great, great spark plug off the bench for a lot of teams, contending teams, rebuilding teams. He has a lot of value, in my opinion, when it comes to the scoring department. And I feel like he would be valuable to a lot of teams like the Charlotte Hornets or maybe teams that have lackluster bench, have a lackluster bench, have him come in or teams that have young players. You know, a team like the Portland Trailblazers, if they ever do decide to come off of Damian Lillard, go watch that video I did on Damian Lillard. Uh, it's somewhere up there. But yeah, it's like, or have him mentor young guys, man. You have the Cleveland Cavaliers if he wants another stint. But another, uh, but one team I do see him on is the Charlotte Hornets uh, to finish out his career. And I just really want to see him just finish his career out. I mean, best case scenario, he gets like a one to two year deal for a, probably a vet minimum or a million dollars. And he just finishes the rest of his career. He's not do going crazy, but he's just finishing out the rest of his career and showing people that he still kind of got it, you know. But yeah, I don't see Isaiah Thomas getting back to the level. I mean, it's he's way past his prime. And that injury just really, really, really cut his career way too short. And I feel like people didn't give him a chance when they should have. And, um, you know, I would love to see him back in the league one day. I'm not, I would love to see him back in the league one day. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Should the NBA bring Isaiah Thomas back since he is getting these workouts? And what team should Isaiah Thomas be on? Personally, I think the Charlotte Hornets so he can mentor the young guys like LaMelo Ball, Terry Rogier, and um, Brandon Miller. And to finish out finish his career out so um yeah man with that being said i want you guys to go ahead like comment and subscribe to join the ride be with your boy dime if you're new and one more thing god bless peace out 100 ha ha yes sir